This video message goes out to an old friend of mine, Tyler Needham, the, the creator of Monster Quest. He and I have been through a lot of memories together. We we come up with our own cartoons and adventures and new ideas. And his greatest achievement ever created was the great was the great Monster Quest. Starring Luke and his partner Chili. And over the years, he's come up with a, a lot of other Monster Quest seasons. There's Mon Monster Quest Zero, Monster Quest Ninjitsu, Monster Quest One Half, Monster Quest DT, Monster Quest Future Turbo, Monster Quest Hybrid Overload, Monster Quest One Half. Hybrid Overload and Future Turbo were my ideas, but I wanted to just give, give that idea to him and share it with him. Okay, yes. In other, in other ways, um, I've, I've had my share of ideas, and I've been wanting to share this idea with Tyler for quite some time now. This is Hybrid Overload, the next generation. It takes place at... It takes 10 years after the after the feat of Dr. Zender. Ladias and Covenant are married and have a son named Halo. He's a he's a young boy whose personality is based on the young son Gohan. His partner is Tox his his partner is Gekator and his his attacks his sick he's based on Prius and Toxtricity Gigantamax. Halo is a uh, elite nine-tailed fox hybrid, and it, and it, his hybrid form is kind of based on a QB, an elite nine-tailed fox. And his signature move is Shadow Fist. When a when a hand made of his own shadow a pops a, appears out of the ground and attacks his target. He is the main character in Monster Quest Hybrids, the next generation. And here are his friends. Here's his... Here are his friends. This is Koji, son of Klaus. This is Draniac Jr., Draniac's son. Yeah, he's not really that bright, but he's based on Ballistamon. Koji, on the other hand, he's based on Koichi. And here's for here's Squeak. She's a squirty skirt hybrid. She, Halo found her in an old abandoned house, and she's been been lonely, and and often worries she's gonna wet herself. So so um Luke um you see uh, Halo was her mentor and took her under his wing and it taught her how to stay calm and be and be kind be calm and kind that's kind of about it here is another one of Halo's friends he kind of bothered him the first time they met his name's Bounce he's a he's a Sparrow and copycat hybrid he's the son of Daisy and a copycat hybrid. And anyways, um, he bothered... I know he used to bother him, Halo, and his friends most of the time, but he's a good friend and a loyal companion. I mean, what would you get from a cat with wings? This here is Carl. Um, actually, I don't know exactly who his name is, but he's Eddie's son. And... I know uh, he's a tech wizard, but he has a robotic arm. And this here is Jamie, Koji's sister. And basically, she's she's not really much of a performer. She often gets stage fright, but she's a uh, really a, she's a nice girl and a good friend to Koji. Here are the antagonists. This is Madison. He's a... He's one of the main villains. And, well, uh, there's this girl who thinks uh, that she's Madison's girlfriend. This is Marcy, which Madison calls Pepe. 
She's a snake tickle and squirty skirt hybrid. She trains herself to resist this feeling so that she could keep being his girlfriend. And she's kind of obnoxious, but you get the idea. And th this character is based on the main character from the main enemy from SpongeBob SquarePants. Her name's Harpy. She's based on Harpus from uh, from Pokemon. She's based on Harpus from Bakugan. And. Here's this other character I've been developing, and well, this is another one of the main enemies from Monster Quest Hybrids. This is Thug. He's based on that guy who is with it. He's based on that main enemy from Bakugan, who had who had Tentaclear as a partner, and basically he's. He's basically bright. He may he's a, he's kind of strong and in he's strong and well basically I don't know what else. And this is King Sapphire's son Simmy. He's well you see Queen Malicious and King Sapphire they uh, decided to have a child. And they couldn't decide on a name, so they named it Simmy. Okay, so um, the story takes place on the island of Oasis, where our heroes must want, must work together to stop the to stop the evil to stop an army of hunters from taking over the island and claiming it as their base and kidnapping other monsters as well. Anyways, um. You know that guy whose name is Carl? Well, Eddie and Matori are now married, and they have a child of their own. And anyways, um, Tyler, if you get this message, I miss you, and I was ho I'm th I hope that maybe we could we could be be partners again, so that our so that we could start our own start our own company. Monster Quest will be... If we work together, we can make Monster Quest a comic champion. Oh. And don't think I'm gonna stop with there. Don't think I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna draw us a character. And of course, what better way to do that than to draw Pseudo Wudo. He's a Johto region Pokemon. Sudowodo is the intimidation Pokemon. He's a rock type. Sudowodo may look like a tree, but if you try to water it, it'll run away. This Pokemon is favored by elderly trainers and is sometimes sought after by collectors who prefer Sudowodo with bigger green patches. With bigger patches of green. That's what I meant. Okay. If you went. Uh, you guys are familiar, Sudowoodo is a partner of Brock, and he's a, and he's a rock type. Possibly a good matchup for Brock's rock type gym. His attacks are Slam, Woodhammer, Copycat, Flail, L Low Kick, Rock Throw, Mimic, Faint Attack, Tearful Look, Rock Climb, Block, Rock Slide, Counter, Sucker Punch, Double Edge, Stone Arm, Stone Edge, Hammer Arm, and Head Smash. There's also Mimic and Fake Tears. Honestly, I think I remember Sudowoodo using Solar Beam once. And to be honest, Sudowoto can't help who he is, even though he's pretending to be a tree. Okay, so when drawing him, you need to draw the bonsai trees on his arms. There we go. Pokemon Go.
Don't Go Changing by Kit Moore on Amazon Alexa, Music. Play Go Pokemon Go. I found a few matches for that. I see you've used unofficial Pokemon of the day before. Would you like to use that one again? Yes. The Pokemon of the day is called Metapod. It weighs 99 and can perform five moves. Alexa, play Go Pokemon Go. Okay, here's unofficial Pokemon. Alexa, play po play Go Pokemon Go. Okay, here's Alexa, unofficial stop. Pokemon. <sighs> Sorry about that, folks. I just uh, uh, I don't know why. I'm kind of annoyed that she always does this. She doesn't exactly give me the songs that I require. Especially during episodes like this. If only I could get her to listen to me. I feel like I need to give her the soundtrack. Alexa, play Go Pokemon Go by Pokemon. Here's Go Pokemon Go by Pokemon on Amazon Music. All right, Sudowoodo, get ready to dance. There we go. That's Pseudo Wudo. There we go. There we go. And that is Pseudo Wudo. Huh, I'm just in time. All right. Glad I got that out of the way. Tyler, you keep drawing those comics. Because I'm never... Because you and I, we're never going to give up on the same goal. Becoming the best artist the universe has ever seen. Oh, yeah. I forgot to share you one thing. <clears throat> there is one more monster I've been wanting to share. This is for Monster Quest Stories. The Topaz Z-Guard hybrid. The Topaz Z-Guard. That once awakens every uh, 1,000 eons. And, anyways, that was for the uh, Continental League saga. He's based on the Super Dragon. Okay, that's all. That's all the time I have for now. See you soon.